Hey, Rebel audience. Merry Christmas. Oops, I almost said the other C word. Jesus, what was I thinking? We're supposed to say holidays these days, not Christmas, right? As an aside, I don't know about you folks, but when I hear the word holiday, a Caribbean vacation comes to mind, not a Noel celebration. But have you ever wondered about the other holidays occurring in December that we need to be so obsessively inclusive over? For those in the Jewish faith, Hanukkah occurs in December. Now, some might be surprised to learn that Hanukkah is a relatively minor Jewish holiday. It certainly isn't as important as the big three on the Judaism calendar, namely Rosh Hashanah, Passover, and Yom Kippur. The other non-Christian holiday in December is Kwanzaa. Hey, say what you will about Hanukkah being a B-grade holiday for most Jews. At least Hanukkah is indeed a legitimate holiday. As for Kwanzaa? Well, it brings to mind the words of Romulan Senator Vrenik after Starfleet Command tried to dupe him with bogus computer evidence. It's a fake. Yeah, that's right. It's a fake. Indeed, Kwanzaa is a complete fabrication. It's a make-believe holiday invented by an ex-convict, Ron N. Everett, who is n known today as Dr. Malona Karinga. In fact, in one interview, Karinga himself openly confessed that Kwanzaa is just a fantasy. He said this, quote, People think it's African, but it's not. I wanted to give black people a holiday of their own, so I came up with Kwanzaa. I said it was African because, you know, black people in this country wouldn't celebrate it if they knew it was American. Also, I put it around Christmas because I knew that's when a lot of bloods would be partying, end quote. Wow. Still, you just know Kwanzaa was surely the inspiration for one particular pop culture parody. At the Festivus dinner, you gather your family around and tell them all the ways they have disappointed you over the past year. And is there a tree? No, instead there's a pole. Requires no decoration. I find tinsel distracting. <laughs> Frank, this new holiday of yours is scratching me right where I itch. Let's do it then. All right. Festivus is back! I'll get the pole out of the crawl space. <laughs> Still funny after all these years. But you know what isn't so funny, folks? Kwanzaa's founder, Dr. Karinga. He was also founder of the United Slaves, a group that was similar to the Black Panthers. And how about this little nugget? Karinga was convicted in 1971 for torturing two women with a hot soldering iron. In addition to having this nasty penchant for torture, Karenga also was also described by a prison psychiatrist as, quote, both paranoid and schizophrenic with hallucinations. Not exactly Santa Claus, eh? But, hey, we live in a free society, so I guess one can invent a fake holiday and con others to go along with the charade by celebrating it. But does the state have to play along with such nonsense, too? I mean, U.S. presidents now issue statements offering warm wishes for those who are celebrating Kwanzaa, calling it a, quote, vibrant celebration of African culture. Um, not quite. Here's what David Southwell, the author of Secrets and Lies, had to say about Kwanzaa. Quote, first created in 1966, Kwanzaa is now celebrated by more than 12% of African Americans who may be surprised to learn that the principles derived from Marxism, not African culture, that no African people celebrate a harvest festival in December, and that some of its symbols, such as ears of corn, aren't even native to Africa, end quote. As for Karenga, the 74-year-old is now chair of African studies at California State University. He continues to maintain Kwanzaa is a, quote, deeply meaningful and special time of remembrance reflection and recommitment for the African community around the world. Yeah, and I know a Nigerian prince who's offering me a $3 million finder's fee if I can only help him get his fortune out of Africa. All I have to do is pass along my personal banking information and social insurance number. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Oh, well, as we continue to descend into politically correct madness, God bless and a happy Festivus to one and all. For the Rebel Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies.